Wow, it's a big volcano. Two miles in the sky, that's crazy. Does, at that point, when you when you have like an ash mm -hmm. cloud that high, doesn't it become part of the weather system? Yeah, it can, definitely. Wow. Yeah, the smoke particles. I mean, because you have to have what they call condensation nuclei for <laughs> rain to be uh, able to stick to it or precipitation mm -hmm. or water vapor to be able to stick to some, has to stick to something before it can actually start building on each other and then when it gets heavy it falls through the cloud. Ah. So it will act as condensation nuclei. It can also help to cool things down because it's going to block the sun, the ah, smoke. So there's a couple okay. different things that can happen. But Interesting. Yeah, using my I, meteorology meteorologist <laughs> Jordan Wilkerson here. <laughs> I love when you get all sciencey on me. Um, <laughs> but you know a lot about geology and all that. I try to. I, you know what? It's a, it's a love. Yeah, it's a hobby. It's good. All right. So let me show you what we're seeing outside right now, guys. Because on our satellite and radar, it doesn't really look like a lot's going on. But if you had to leave this morning for your early morning commute, you probably saw some wet roads or at least a little bit of drizzle out there, right? And now we're starting to see those decreasing showers, but the clouds are just lingering. If you live closer to Puget Sound itself, it's going to take a little bit longer for those clouds to clear. But we will start to see some peaks of sunshine if you haven't yet uh, a little later on this afternoon. So what's happening? Remember, we have that ridge over us, so it has moved to the east. And so now we've got a, a flattened ridge here, which is actually allowing for onshore flow. So that's what's bringing in uh, those clouds and that little bit of precipitation this morning. But going forward, this trough is going to move in. And as it does, it allows for cooler temperatures, but also the chance for a few showers. So although we saw some to this morning, I think our, our chance is a little bit better for actual rain versus just drizzle tomorrow and Thursday thanks to this trough. It's still not looking too impressive, but we'll take anything we can get since we are so dry. And then as we get into the end of the week, so Friday, this ridge will start to build back in, which is perfect because Friday is the start of summer and it's actually going to be a little bit warmer because of that ridge and it's also going to be dry and a little bit more sunny. But that's not going to last very long because you know why? You guessed it, another trough is going to be moving through. So on Sunday, going into Monday, we will see uh, more clouds moving in. We'll see and have a chance for a few showers. And we do carry that shower chance through the start of your work week next week. At least the first half, it's looking like we could see some showers. But again, we need it. So as we put the clock into motion, you can see that really just going to decrease our cloud cover uh, as we get into this afternoon. Might linger a little bit longer along the coast. And then we'll bring back more clouds again for tomorrow morning. And again, some of those clouds tomorrow morning could have some drizzle and notice as we go throughout the day, we'll bring in a few more shower chances as well. But again, it's still it's not like a major storm system that's moving through. So scattered showers, a couple sun breaks mixed in. And then we'll see a repeat on Thursday, but maybe a better chance on Thursday. So temperatures outside right now are ranging in the upper 50s to the lower 60s. We're a couple degrees uh, warmer than this time yesterday. And it's time for Fido's forecast to get us through the next several hours. And this is Nico. How adorable is this dog? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Well, Nico will be happy to know that those showers are decreasing, so no wet pause uh, as we get into later on this afternoon and evening. So partly sunny with temperatures close to 70 degrees in this afternoon. Uh, but then, yeah, we're going to continue to cool in the days ahead before we warm back up by Friday. So mountains are looking pretty good, but a few showers still possible. Temperatures in the mid 50s to about 60 degrees, and that freezing level has come down to about seven, 8,000 feet, but it will continue to drop to about 5,500 feet going forward as well. Well, so decreasing showers today, but increasing showers Wednesday, showers and sun breaks Thursday, Friday looking pretty good for the start of summer. It's so funny. It's like it's summer. We got to get 10 degrees warmer. You're right. Exactly. Like, let's warm up quick.